In this example we will demonstrate feeder load scaling functions of power factory. Activate the feeder load scaling study case. Run a load flow. Notice that the option feeder load scaling is currently selected. Color the diagram to show the feeders in the network. We can zoom in and look at a feeder in more detail. We will create a voltage profile for the feeder. Right click on the feeder and select show and voltage profile. Here you can see the feeder voltage profile. The x-axis shows progress from one end of the feeder to the other end of the feeder in kilometers. The y-axis shows the per unit voltage. This is an active graphic, therefore it is possible to add labels to the graphic. Select a point on the curve. And choose the label icon, add label with value of the current curve. We can also add a constant Y value to the curve. Right click in the graphic in an empty space and select set constant Y value. We will set the value to 0.95. As you can see, the voltage in this feeder drops below the 0.95 value at some point along its length. Add a label to determine this point. You can edit the feeder directly from the diagram. Right click on the characteristic and select edit feeder. On the load flow tab you can see that it is possible to apply load scaling to the feeder. Load scaling can be used to scale individual loads connected to a feeder so that they comply with an overall value for the feeder which is specified in this load scaling section of the feeder object. For the first set point, select active power and for the second set point, select reactive power. Set the active power to 50 kilowatts and the reactive power to 10 kV. Select OK. Rerun the load flow. Notice that the voltage profile has not changed. This is because we have not enabled load scaling on any of the individual loads contained in the feeder. We edit the feeder now and select edit elements. We can use the detail mode class select to filter for all LV loads. There is a checkbox on the load flow page of the LV loads called adjusted by load scaling. Select this tick box for every load. Select close. Select OK and rerun the load flow. You will notice that with the load now scale to the feeder scaling factors, the voltage drop on the feeder has substantially reduced. 